Hey, how's everyone doing? Another video today. And, um, so, again, I've been going through my box of stuff, and I found a box hidden in the corner of my room that does have some of my cosplay stuff, and, uh, it has some, like, Japanese sealed cosplays. Like, I, I'm not 100% sure which ones, but I know that I have, like, Goku, Naruto, Eren Yeager, and, um, I have, like, my Breath of the Wild tunic of the wild pieces of it in there and then um i saw my jack frost cosplay in there and then i saw one spider-man costume in there and i don't even know if it's all the pieces but i'm glad that i did find one of them and uh that one is is actually this one my very first one yay so i'm really glad because I was going to um, the Michaels store uh, to see if they even sell puff paint there anymore. Or where they moved it to. Because I go to the store a lot and I didn't see the puff paint the last time I went. But today I went and I did find puff paint. But they're very low stock. And they moved the area. Anyway, so I'm glad that this guy is still around. Even though he's really old and was my first suit as an adult, of course. And uh, it's kind of good have one of them around. I do know that I was going to plan on finishing the puff painting and uh, dyeing the red and whatnot. And uh, unfortunately, I just noticed something very bad on this. Oof. Well, I guess it's not that noticeable, but I did notice right now that there is a minor bend right there. That is very depressing. <laughs> oh my god. That is so depressing. Ugh. I mean, I know how to... I could always pull off the tint and um, retint them myself because I know how. But chances are, since it's so not noticeable, unless you look up close, and since I wear this, I did wear it a lot, I would just keep wearing it till it pulls off. You might as well, you know what I mean? I mean costume's gonna get worn, but eventually that'd be cool to, um, fix this thing up if there's any future damage to it. I'm just shaking because it feels good to see something of mine, you know what I mean? And, um, I do have, like, my turn off the dark suit, like, two Ditko suits, because I had, like, an extra shirt, like, one was gonna have wings and one wasn't, but I'm doing a new Ditko suit, one that's probably not so tight since I'm bigger now, uh, whatnot, and so I have to get it resized, a new one that's more accurate, well, to my liking, and, um, ugh. this is so cringy, I just want to see if this even fits on my head anymore, ugh. yay, I don't have it zipped up, but, um, I know since my shoulders are bigger that we planned on extending the gloves on this suit because I noticed it was getting harder to put the gloves on, but I have two gloves, so you can sew, um, some length to the other ones and that won't be a problem because this is a very nostalgic suit of mine. Not zipped up again, but Yu-Gi-Oh. It's good to see it again. One suit out of the many that I have. Like, the other ones, I have pieces of my prototype Amazing Spider-Man uh, one suit that's laying around somewhere. Like, I had the different fabrics and whatnot that I was working on way back in November, all the way to March, whenever that was. 2016, anytime. I know I started it in March 2016. Okay, long story. But... You know, this is Zentai Zentai. It, I, I don't order from them anymore. I've got like three suits from them and uh, I've had problems with the pants that they gave me and it was the wrong color. It was like almost black and I mentioned it to them and they didn't help me. So that's why I don't order from them anymore. Unless you want their lenses or something. I think that they're good for lenses and whatnot or printing service might, might be good. But if the color's wrong, they will not help you. And they say that they will, but they don't. <laughs> Anyways, swipping out. Thanks for watching.